Wingy Boxing, IFL TV, in association with MTK Global. We are here with the new WBA Super Lightweight Champion, Maurice Hooker. How's it feel? Yeah, it feel good. <laughs> <laughs> good feeling, yeah? Oh, yes, 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 man. Wonderful. All the um, interviews, the uh, British fight fans of her saying you're going to punch him in the mouth. People are like, okay, who is this guy? What's he going to do? Surely he's not going to you know, defeat Flanagan, but you really put it on and made it a tough fight. Talk me through the fight. Talk, talk me through the first half of the fight. How did that play out for you? Uh, I was just, really, you know, like I say I'm going to be patient and use my jab and take what he gave me. You know, if I see an opening, I'm going to go for it. I really didn't see too many openings, but I kept using my jab and popping. And uh, I was waiting a lot and I was getting hit with unnecessary shots, but uh, I had to dig like a dog and go get it. You know, I ain't coming this far. But like a 10 hour plane trip, man, I ain't coming this far. To lose and leave with no belt, you know, and that's what I did. Terry's a tough fighter, man. I, I hit him. <laughs> he didn't go down. He's a tough fighter. What's the toughest thing or the most difficult aspect of Terry's style that you found when he was uh, fighting? He was quick. He was quick. <laughs> I thought I would adjust to it, but he was quick, man. Like every beginning of each round, he would hit me like one or two shots because he was quick. And plus, I was waiting a lot, kind of time. Him, but he quick. Split decision win. What was going through your mind when they're reading out the scorecards? Oh, man. I'm, I'm, <laughs> oh, way, man. <laughs> yeah, I'm all the way out here in, uh, in England, man. And I'm fighting the hometown guy. It's not going to turn out good, you know? And uh, hey, I won, you know? I guess, right I guess, man, the judges is pretty good. <laughs> I thought they will get to the hometown guy. Tell me what it means to you and your boxing career. Um, at that point when your name was announced and you become champion, what, how, how, did, how did you feel? Try and sum it up for me, for everything you've gone through. Man, it's just, it's, just, it's a dream. blessing, you know. Uh, it's Look. a blessing, man. It's my dream right here, you know. And, and I accomplished it. Yeah. I have my dreams. I got some other gun go, but uh, yeah. it means a lot to me, yeah. my family. Now I'm going home, be with my family. Place. I've been gone for training camp since January. So now I'm going home, you know, yeah. chill with my kids in there for a little bit, but. This is, I'm not over. I want the best out there. I want to keep going. I now we're going to work. Those. Now we're going to work. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, yeah, that's what I was going to say. So, obviously, you look the names well, now. You You're going to, it's, it's, it's the I'll old thing that they say. You've now got a target on your back, so to speak. Yes. And um, it's not really about you calling people out now. I guess it's about them coming for you now, isn't it? They coming. <laughs> they, probably, they probably on my Instagram, Facebook, Snapchat, phone right now. Probably calling, texting, calling me out, calling me this and that. But hey. I'm a champion, man. Hey, I expect it. I'm not going to scoop to that level and, uh, and do all it. And what have you got to say to your uh, fans in um, back home in Texas? Ah, man. We did it. <laughs> we got another world champion besides Earl Spence. It's me, you know. And, and I did it. Same thing as him. Tim Crawford came. Tim Brady came over here. And they won the belt. You can add my name on the list. Like Terry said, add my name on the list. And, and there you go. Yeah, I saw you put that up on uh, Twitter, that quote that he said that, didn't yes. you? And he you did. Said that, he, he talked up, did <laughs> And you said if that's the same as Errol Spence, it's not going to sort of go, you know, go well if he's talking in that sort of yes. fashion. But yeah, you've got the belt, you've it, done it. Oh, yeah, man. And uh, for, for your team, uh, any, any shout outs you want to give your sponsors or team? Or? I mean, I just want to say Terry's a tough fighter, man. He can fight, he can come to lay down. He's a tough fighter. I got a shout out to everybody in Dallas and everybody in the USA who supported him. My team, man, they behind my back the whole time, man. I get, I get we did it. It's on now. Can we get your coach in there? Huh? Get your coach in there. Uh, my coach right here. Coach. Your thoughts on the fight, brother? Tell me how you fought, uh, fought the fight, man. I, I thought he was winning the early rounds, but we were here in, in his hometown, and, and Terry's very smart, and um, I, I just, um, I'm just beside myself. This young man's worked so hard. We've been away from home for so long, and this is, you know, I was just so proud of him. He really dug deep. I told him at the last round, I said, man, this is what legends do. And uh, you're a legend and you gotta believe. And, and he went out there and he fought like a legend. You know, we came over here, these fans are great. This is- I love the fans, man. England, England has is, is kept our sport alive. And they, Terry, Terry Flanagan, I know we said a lot of stuff, but it was all in sport. And he's a hell of a competitor. And uh, he's, this city should be proud of him. And um, I'm just, I'm so proud of my guy. And, 
That was a very motivating speech in the corner that you was giving him. Even I was getting motivated and I wasn't even fighting. I'm like, wow. I, I didn't know what else to do. You because know? you know you're fighting, don't you? So you know what to say. Yeah. Well, we worked so hard. I mean, you hear me say a lot of time, incline, shot yeah, he, he being the training camp with me, he yeah. was training too. I had to train too, man. I think I lost about 20 pounds. But a big shout out to Terrence Crawford and Team Crawford. Team Crawford. They man. pushed us they to the pushed. edge. We're, we're family. A big shout out to perfecting athletes. Uh, Michelle, Paulina, and her whole crew, they, they're everything. They did everything. And they, they Rock Nation, my Rock manager. Nation. Jay-Z, please call us. Can we get a shout out now? Yeah. Finally, <laughs> we got a champ. Um, everybody here in Britain, um, and most of all, this guy right here, Arnie Verbeek. My manager, man. So many people wanted to have me shit canned, and he believed in me. Mo believed in me. I Mo believed in my in black son. son. <laughs> yeah. I believed in my black son. <laughs> we, we, we we this. He been there the whole time, the man. The whole time. <laughs> So, so man, well, thank you, thank you to everybody. And I, I just knew going into the last, I, I just knew that Flanagan was fading, but he was such a such a, a tough, tough competitor. He didn't want to lose, but I knew something was up because the crowd got quiet and Terry never stopped trying. And I, he didn't coast, so I just know by the hell of a fire. I, I, I honestly, I had Mo up by at least four rounds, but we're here, so. Jeff Powell had him up by two. Yeah, so, so, you know, just thank you, you know, and I, I don't even know what to say right now. I've been working at this month for so long, and, you know, we did it. We'll leave, we'll leave the last words with the champion, Maurice Sucker. Your thoughts, final thoughts. Man, it's a tough fight, you know, I dug deep. You know, I had good people, I had my manager. Worked the corner for the first time. <laughs> my coach there. We know. were running out of money, so uh, <laughs> everything's getting a little cheaper. <laughs> we did it. We did it. Thanks to everybody who supported us. Thank you for speaking to Wingy Boxing and IFL TV. Congratulations. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs>